What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Asir Blacksmith set. Now, Funcom was so kind to give this to me so that I can show it off to you. Now, what you get in this set is obviously the outfit. It is just the gloves and the shirt. And then you receive this Asir Blacksmith bench, the wooden hanging sign that goes on the wall, and lastly, a storage container for metalworking. Now, this set costs 1,267 Chrome coins, but let's get into what all we're looking at. So first and foremost, let's take a look at the sign. It's got some very cool detail to it, and it is a double-sided, so you can see that it's got some nice metal work and some nice wood grain work. Highly detailed sign there for your blacksmith area. Moving on to the blacksmith's bench, it's hard to see here, but it is rather large. It is two foundations by two foundations, so it is going to take up a square of four foundations. So it's a big piece, keep that in mind, but it is only one wall tall, which is a nice thing for this particular piece. And it's got some very ornate looking design and carvings to this particular piece. Looking at the storage chests, you can see the one on the left is open, the one on the right is closed. This has the bug with the lid where sometimes when you exit out of the inventory, the lid will stay open. And then when you go back into the inventory, the lid will actually close. So that is something that's going on. You can see I'll make it actually do it there. So this is something that is happening on a pretty regular basis to me where the lids just aren't closed when I'm interacting with them. However, this has a total inventory of 45. You can see we have six there, seven, eight, and nine. So 45 slots. However, this is only going to allow you to store metal in it. It is not going to allow you to store anything else in this chest. So keep that in mind. This is just for your metals. Probably the most important part of this is what's the function of the actual blacksmith's bench. So you can see we have an improved bench here and we have the Asir blacksmith's bench here. So if we get in here, you can see it has a very small inventory there. And then when we're crafting from 500 of the steel here, you can see it costs us two steel bars. So it's only going to make 250. That means that this bench is a regular blacksmith's bench. So it is not as good as the improved. You can see we have 499 there and we're able to craft the full amount. So if we stop it, 500 it only costs us one so it is not as good as the improved bench which is probably a good thing since this is something that you're going to have unlocked right away when you start as soon as you unlock the blacksmith's bench this is going to be there but it is just a regular bench so it's more of an aesthetic piece than anything else Let's look at the cost to craft these different items. The container for metal working is going to be 15 shape wood and five reinforcements. The sign for blacksmithing is going to be 10 insulated wood and five twine. And then the Asir blacksmith bench is actually only 250 stone and 50 iron bars. The last items that we have here are the Asir Smith apron and the gloves. So the apron is going to cost you a light padding and leather, and the gloves are going to cost you a light padding and leather as well. Now this is on the improved armor's bench, so you'll get a little bit worse or better craft cost with different benches. But on the improved bench, that's the crafting cost. Now these really are just for cosplay. They don't give you any stats or bonuses. You can see this is eight armor value, and then this guy is four armor value. There's no additional stats. The durability is super low. However, you can dye these to look the way that you want. So you can dye them however you think looks good. And... I think some of those dye spots are, are a little bit interesting. That first one dyes a, a whole lot of it. So kind of an interesting dye setup that it's going to do the apron and the shirt together in this first slot. But that is the way it is right now. 
Now, the thing that I like about the fact that they have this in the game is that they have it in the game. The thing I don't like about this is the fact that I am unable to go over to my blacksmith who is on the bench and equip this for him to wear. I think if we're going to have these outfits that make sense for the different crafters in our world, we need to be able to change the outfit on our crafters. That's my biggest complaint with this, but otherwise I think it's all very cool. You may have noticed the building stuff is the new Lost Dungeon building set. If you'd like me to do a video about that, I need 500 likes on this video, and I'll produce a video showing you the Lost Dungeon building set. There are some interesting things about this set, and there are some differences in how you use it to build, because every single piece takes up the space of one foundation. But that's it for this video. You guys let me know in the comment section below what do you think of the Asir Blacksmith set? I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for your continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button that says join on this page. Click that for details. There's two videos on the screen. Click one of those to watch next and I'll meet you over there.